If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable way to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. Time is running out, guys. Use the players that you want to. Get yourself over there. And don't forget to use my code Martin for an extra 5% off. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video and the last in our end game tactic series. Woo! It's been a long one and the last one that we are having a look at today is the 4-1-3-2. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it and see how it works. So, I say this a lot, particularly in my coaching sessions, there isn't a lot between a lot of different formations. This is very similar to the 4-1-2-1-2. It really, really is. Um, so, defensive style, balanced. Defensive width, 40. Defensive depth, 60. So, defensive style, I like to have this on balance, I really do. I say this a lot, if you are struggling, then maybe go for a press after possession loss or a pressure on a heavy touch, but it will drag your players out of position and you are better off if you can do it yourself. Um, defensive width, as it has been all year, keep ourselves nice and narrow and this formation is absolutely no difference. Uh, defensive depth, 60. You, you can play this formation how you want, but this stage in the game, push people on, take the game to your opponent, and defensive depth of 60, I think, will do that for you. Build up, play, balance, chance creation, direct passing. Nylon doesn't matter what formation, starting formation, it is, that's gonna be the same. Offensive width, just brought this down to 45, because there can be a little bit of space in the middle of the pitch. So just bring those wide men in just ever so slightly, so that if you want a right stick switch to one of them and bring them in to help when you're defending, then you've got that option. And um, a player's into about six, Corners and free kicks are both on one each. And of course, as we always say, that's your choice, but the higher up that you do it, the more chance you've got of being caught on the counter attack. So before we get into the player instructions, guys, one last time, I did want to remind you about my online coaching, which is just going to be seamlessly continuing into AFC. So it doesn't matter if you want to start now or in a week's time or at the start of October, it's really not going to make too much difference, to be honest, with the way that I coach. So if you are looking to improve at the game, please get in touch with me email address is martinfifa88 at gmail.com right two center backs stay back while attacking obviously then don't know why it's on that but the two full backs so Babak and roberto carlos are stay back while attacking whenever i've got wingers um that are staying wide because some of them are on cutting inside which these ones aren't they don't like to put them on balance attack or anything like that they can stay on stay back while attacking still get involved in the attack but they can be on stay back while attacking. Then the CDM, stay back while attacking and cover center. I don't think literally you ever have a CDM that is anything different. So that's quite boring in a way, I suppose. Then this is the difference between like this and the uh, 41212 as an example. So Zola here is actually a central midfielder, but I'll use him to kick on, to be honest with you. Um, so I've got him on get forward. Cover centre, so stay in the middle of the pitch, but get forward and then stay on the edge of the box of crossing. So when Sterling and Lynx are bombing on, if they're looking to cut it back, you've got the two strikers already in the box, ready and waiting, but then we've also got the central midfielder, it's playing more like a cam, on the edge of the box, and it just means that there isn't as much of a gap between them and then your CDM. It just links the team up a little bit more, okay? Then onto the wings, this is quite traditional, you've seen this a lot. So we've got come back on defence, so we're nice and tight with defensively. Like I said, you can right stick switch to one of them to help bring them into the middle if need to be. But then from an attacking point of view, we've got getting to the box of crosses, getting behind, of course, we've got direct passing turned on as well. So that's going to help them make very, very good runs. And it's the same for links on the other side. Then up top, we've got one on getting behind, one on just default. because We've got plenty of width, okay? And there is quite a bit of space to play in already. Um, in the middle of the pitch so i'm up for one of them just to mooch about basically and the other one to stretch the defense and go long especially as the wingers are going long as well but guys there we go that concludes our end games tactic series that was your four one three two tactics and player instructions hopefully you enjoyed the series if you have then please drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys very very soon see you later guys bye bye